Some only name today with the honors that we are about to give special recognition for excellence that are those descendants, the progeny of those elders that took that boat ride and ended up God knows where. We'd like to recognize the Vice Principal James Whitson, Tatiana Hawkins, and Principal Jennifer Joseph. At this time, we'd like to bring forth for special recognition our book scholarships from Five Day of Sigma Fraternity and our recipients, Zaire McKenzie and Kwayara Brown, presented by the National Township Committee, Mr. Kevin McMillan. Thank you very much.
On behalf of my husband, Robert Dickerson, and myself, Wyla, the founders and directors of the Universal African Dance and Drama Ensemble, we'd like to say thank you so very much to Ms. Jones and to Ms. Grace and to the entire staff here at the um, Lakeview Performing Arts Center here in Neptune. And of course, to each and every one of you who sit here amongst us. Without you guys, who we perform for? So we so appreciate you and we so honor you and respect you. On um, behalf of my husband, I'm going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to take out this whole corner out here and rock the house for you. Ready for that? Yeah. Okay. All right, but I just need to tell you a few things before we come and do that. Some people may have seen us a thousand times, some people may have never seen us before, so we all just have to tell you a little bit about us. Just want to let you know that we have 77 members. Um, they range in the youngest age of one years old, all the way up to our elder who's in his late 60s. And we brought a nice truth for you this afternoon. I'm sure that you will enjoy what you will witness and what you will see. And just to let you know, not to brag or boast, but every 30 years in Dakar, Senegal, which is in West Africa, there is a world arts historical World Arts Festival, Festival that's held where 80 nations come and represent their countries. We were chosen by world now scholars, historians, and Africans themselves who said we were one of the best African American groups in America representing Africa. So, we have a so they chose us to go and represent the United States of America. So a lot of these young people that you're going to see on the stage had the opportunity to go to Mother Africa and to actually sit and talk to Africans. And the funniest thing, when they were talking to us, they asked us several questions. But one of the main ones that stuck in my mind was, they asked, are you guys really from America? And some of the children said yes, some of them said no, because we have people from Africa as well in our group from all over. And they were like, no, you guys are from here. Like, you're from here, Africa, because you look like us, you dance like us, you just don't speak like us. But, you know, we were like, wow. I said to myself, wow, that's awesome that they see us and they see themselves. But I have to tell you that for 34 years, my husband and I have been doing this. With these children, we have like generally like one of our fourth generation of this organization, and it thanks always. And I just have to tell you, I have to share with you that for those 34 years, we have had African teachers, authentic teachers, who have actually took time out to teach us song, dance, rhythms from all different parts of Africa. So we were honored to be able to do that, have that experience with them. And I'm sure that the children learned a lot from that as well. So it was an honor for us to be able to represent our country. So with that being said, without further ado, put your hands together with me and bring to the stage the Universal African Dance and Jump Ensemble.
beat me to it. Huh. Okay, this is our mascot, Taj Johnson. He is three years old. He has been playing since he was one years old. Give it up for our mascot, Taj Johnson. Okay. 
Thank you. So we turn this back over to you, Ms. Jones, and Ms. Madeline, and C. Thank you very much. Oh, 